protector, O oh God, a mighty stronghold to save me. For you are my rock, my stronghold. Lead me, guide me for the sake of your name. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your your spirit. spirit. Hello, everyone. My name is Father Matt. I'm a priest of the Archdiocese of Denver, and it's a joy to be with you on this pre-recorded Mass for the sixth Sunday in Ordinary Time here at our Cathedral Basilica of the Immaculate Conception. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you have shown us the way to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord, have have mercy. mercy. Lord Jesus, you have given us the consolation of the truth. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the good shepherd leading us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest and on on earth earth, peace peace to to people people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit and the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who teach us that you abide in hearts that are just and true, Grant that we may be so fashioned by your grace as to become a dwelling pleasing to you. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Leviticus. The Lord said to Moses and Aaron, if someone has on his skin a scab or pustule or blotch, which appears to be the sore of leprosy, he shall be brought to Aaron the priest or to one of the priests among his descendants. If the man is leprous and unclean, the priest shall declare him unclean by reason of the sore on his head. The one who bears the sore of leprosy shall keep his garments rent and his head bare. He shall muffle his beard. He shall cry out, unclean, unclean. As long as the sore is on him, he shall declare himself unclean, since he is in fact unclean. He shall dwell apart, making his abode outside the camp. The word of the Lord. I turn to you, Lord, in time of trouble and you fill me with the joy of salvation. I turn to you, Lord, in time of trouble and you fill me with the joy of salvation. Blessed is he whose fault 
is taken away, whose seed is covered. Blessed the man to whom the Lord imputes not guilt, in whose spirit there is no guile. I turn to you, Lord, in time of trouble, and you feed me with the joy of salvation. Then I acknowledge my sin to you, my guilt I covered not. I said, I confess my faults to the Lord, and you took away the guilt of my seed. I turn to you, Lord, in time of trouble, and you fill me with the joy of salvation. Be glad in the Lord and rejoice, you just. Exalt all you upright of heart. I turn to you, Lord, in time of trouble, and you fill me with the joy of salvation. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, whether you eat or drink or whatever you do, do everything for the glory of God. Avoid giving offense, whether to the Jews or Greeks or the Church of God, just as I try to please everyone in every way, not seeking my own benefit, but that of the many that they may be saved. Be imitators of me as I am of Christ. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Prophet has arisen in our midst. God has visited his people. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus Christ. A leper came to Jesus and kneeling down begged him and said, If you wish, you can make me clean. Moved with pity, he stretched out his hand, touched him, and said to him, I do will it be made clean. The leprosy left him immediately, and he was made clean. Then warning him sternly, he dismissed him at once. He said to him, See that you tell no one anything, but go, show yourself to the priest, and offer for your cleansing what Moses prescribed. That will be proof for them. The man went away and began to publicize the whole matter. He spread the report abroad, so that it was impossible for Jesus to enter a town openly. He remained outside in deserted places, and people kept coming to him from everywhere. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. One of my housemates was giving me a hard time the other day for washing the windows of my car, in particular the inside. And I explained that 
washing the windows of our car is actually a good analogy for us in the spiritual life because we don't recognize how dirty those windows are until we drive directly into the sun. You know, sometimes that film builds up on the inside or you start to know little imperfections in the window. And the same then for our spiritual life. We don't recognize the true nature of our sin until we look at the true son, Jesus Christ. And we have here in our gospel, this man who is a leper, who has been rejected by others. And yet he knows that when he looks at Jesus, Jesus is the one who can truly heal him. If you wish, you can make me clean. And in this weekend, this Sunday, Saturday night or Sunday, into uh, before Lent, I invite you to think about those things that are in your heart, in your life, where you want to invite Jesus in. Or perhaps those areas of your life where you don't want to let Jesus in. Truly pray for a life-changing Lent, Ask the Lord here at this Mass, Lord, what is it that you want to do in my life? What is it that you want to do in me and for me in these next 40 days? Uh, and really pray that prayer, Lord, if you wish, you can, make, you can make me clean. And Jesus does say, he says, I do wish be made clean. He touches us. He cleans our hearts. He cleans our souls. If we let him, let our prayer be that. If you wish, you can make me clean. Jesus says to each one of us, I do will it, be made clean. Amen. We now profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. My brothers and sisters, as we now make our prayer for our community and for the world, let us pray to Christ the Lord, not only for ourselves and our needs, but for the entire people. We pray for the whole Christian people, especially for Pope Francis. Let us beseech the abundance of divine goodness. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who hold public office, as we call upon the power of God, may they be led and guided in all they do. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all those who are sick and struggling, all those who are oppressed by any kind of need, that the Lord may graciously grant them relief. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for... God's blessing on the Catholic Foundation of the Archdiocese of Denver uh, and its many benefactors who make the broadcast of this Mass possible. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And we take a moment to bring before the Lord those prayers that we offer now in the silence of our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. 
O God, our refuge and our strength, hear the prayers of your church, for you yourself are the source of all devotion, and grant, we pray, that what we ask in faith we may truly obtain, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May this oblation, O Lord, we pray, cleanse and renew us, and may it become for those who do your will the source of eternal reward. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in you we live and move and have our being. And while in this body we not only experience the daily effects of your care, but even now possess the pledge of life eternal. For having received the first fruits of the Spirit, through whom you raised up Jesus from the dead, we hope for an everlasting share in the Paschal mystery. And so with all the angels we praise you, as in joyful celebration we acclaim. God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
the mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Samuel, our Bishop, Jorge, his auxiliary, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us, Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. They eat and had their fume. And what they craved, the Lord gave them. They were not disappointed in what they craved.
Let us pray. Having fed upon these heavenly delights, we pray, O Lord, that we may always long for that food by which we truly live. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Thank you very much for joining in. Uh, I pray that you have a very blessed Lent, which begins this Wednesday. Just a small little note, you may notice at the end of the opening prayer, uh, I omitted the word one God, or rather one, from one God forever and ever. It was a recent decision of the Bishop's Conference here in the United States. You're welcome to look it up if you want more information. But moving forward here, uh, hopefully we'll remember to not say one God, but rather God forever and ever, a prayer addressed at that moment uh, to God the Father, then God the Son, and then God the Holy Spirit. Just a small little note. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Pre-recorded TV Mass is made possible by the Archdiocese of Denver and the Catholic Foundation. Hi, I'm Father Matthew McGee, a priest here in the Archdiocese of Denver. And each week, people from across Colorado, around the country and the world, tune into TV Mass here each Sunday. On the air since 1966, TV Mass continues to bring the Word of God to those who cannot attend. For more information and ways to support TV Mass, please visit thecatholicfoundation.com.